Just on the initial thrust, as we saw the Earth actually shrink, it was like going through a tunnel uh, and looking out the back window and watching the, the opening of the tunnel shrink and like that. But my impressions were not so much on the way to the moon, which we, I expected, it was seeing the Earth as it really is. Uh, you know, we, uh, on Earth, uh, our, our world, is really only as far as the eye can see. Uh, you know, say if we're out in the, uh, in the country, our world uh, is restricted by the mountains or hills or even a grove of trees. That's as far as we can see because this earth is so monstrous that it's, it's, it's in a point. In, in the cities, uh, buildings usually uh, define our world. You know, downtown uh, Chicago, our world is really only within sight, uh, but uh, and and also say in this room, in this room, our world today, right now, is within existing within these walls. This is our world right now. Suddenly, in Apollo eight, when I found myself two hundred forty thousand miles away, and I looked at the Earth. My world suddenly expanded to infinity. You know, I can see the Earth as a small blue and white ball way out there. It was really something unusual. I could put my hand up to the window and completely hide the Earth behind my thumb. You know, you got to think about that. Behind my thumb was the Earth Five billion people were living behind my thumb. Everything I ever knew was behind my thumb. You suddenly get a different perspective of life and your position in life. You know, I looked at the Earth and I could see that it's only one of nine planets in the solar system, small one. The Earth is a mere speck in the Milky Way constellation, and it's lost to oblivion in the universe. So that gives you an idea of really your position in the universe. 